everyone, I'm Bombshell Betty from Retro Mania in the Pinup Diaries Facebooks. Um, I actually am going to be away for two weeks, so this is why I thought I'd do a really good um, last video before I go. Um, I have to go do um, some things with my uni, and so I will be away for two weeks. So if you keep, if you go through the Facebooks and there is just not much happening, um, or even if you go onto YouTube and there is nothing happening at all, that's why. So today. I thought I would do a quick last minute video to explain why um, there is nothing going on um, because I usually always put posts up at least one post every day. Um, also uh, I have also been to the Antique and Collectibles Fair uh, which was down at um, Gippsland. It's been held at Morwall at, at Kona Hall. Um, they've got some really amazing stuff there and I thought it would be a really good chance to show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up. Absolutely adorable. So I'm just going to pop off and grab some. Okay, so I've got this absolutely adorable ambulance. It's actually French. It's really cute. And I thought it was like an adorable little case. And I think by the looks of it, its doors pop open too at the back. I think it's really cute. Um, I also got, and normally I actually don't really go into, um, you know, vintage matchboxes or anything. But in this case, I actually did. This one's a Shirley MacLaine one. And it actually has its original matches in it. This one, I don't actually think, yeah, it doesn't actually have its matches in there. But it's got uh, Elizabeth on it, the Queen. Um, I thought this was actually quite adorable. And honestly, blue is actually one of my favourite colours. So I thought it was really cute. Um, I actually really do like old matchboxes, but I've never really been in, big into collecting them. But, you know, but now they're never to collect. Um, this is a really, really cute necklace. I actually was eyeing it off last time when I was at Williamstown. And if you check out the Facebook, my uh, Pin Up Diaries page, there is actually a photo on there of a vintage makeup case and it's got a, a couple of pieces of jewellery in it. That is actually all from this store. This is Vintage Online. This is actually one of their cards. Um, the lady who runs this, I have to tell you, she's absolutely amazing. She's really, really, really sweet. Um, and you know what? She, her things are really, really nicely priced. This is actually an old brooch, um, which has obviously been broken. Um, but someone has actually turned it into a really cute necklace, which I think is a good idea. I mean, we all have that piece that we've broken and we think, oh, God. We keep the pieces, but we never really use them because they're busted. But I think it's really cute to actually turn it into something else instead of just wasting it. Um, so I thought it was really cute. Um, other thing, I actually did get a couple of things from her today. Uh, I also got these. I'm actually part Polish, so I thought these were absolutely adorable. Um, and because it is coming up to Christmas, I thought they'd be really, really cute because I know my grandma would absolutely love these. These are little babushka dolls. Hopefully you guys can see that properly. Um, earrings. I think they are just so cute. Um, they honestly are just adorable. Um, so I love those and I know I'll be definitely wearing those at Christmas. Another thing that I actually got from Vintage Online's stall as well is this. This is a really nice champagne colour pearl. It's got the nice old fashioned clasp. It's really long. So it's, really, it's actually quite long, but I like that because you can double it up. You can do it in a 1940s style. You can do quite a lot with long necklaces, so I, I think that's really cool. Um, they're actually not badly priced. I think, I think this one might have been about uh, maybe 15 or something. This necklace was 25 and I believe the other necklace that she um, that I purchased from her. This one was 25 I got that from 15 um, Also, these earrings uh, were about 10 so they're really cute. See, so she does have really good prices. She has some amazing pieces in there. She's got some really gorgeous vintage um, brooches from the 1950s. Um, she's also got uh, some of the little clips that the women used to use on their things like their boleros or cardigans. I absolutely love them. They are adorable. Um, so definitely check her out because she's got some amazing stuff. Um, other things that I got. Um, I actually brought these. I'm obsessed with Coca-Cola. Um, in fact, our whole family is pretty much obsessed with Coca-Cola. And I got these. I think they're really cute. They're like $5 each, so they're really adorable and they're already pre-framed, which is perfect for me. 
mainly because of the fact that I sometimes don't frame things. I will put them on display, you know, somewhere, but I'll have them lying down. Either that or I'll store them away because I think I don't really have room for that. But these are perfect because they're already in frames. Um, so they're, they're cute little ones. I like them. So this one's really nice. It's got the girl drinking from the Coke bottle. And I actually really like this one too. It is um, Coca-Cola Have a Coke ad. So it's got the cute little couple sitting on their little cooler drinking some Coke. This is adorable. Um, only $5 each. Honestly, if you have somebody that loves retro and vintage, um, things like things like these, um, if it's a girl that you're looking for, um, things like the long pearls, you know, things like that. Even if you don't see your girl wearing, like if you've got a girlfriend, she loves retro, if you see her and she's wearing, she doesn't wear long pearls like these, even something like this, just to, you know, they're quite versatile. It's not like you're going to be stuck with a really massive long pearl that goes down to your knees. Um, so really, they are really good to wear. Um, I honestly think things like matchsticks and the matchsticks boxes are a really good idea. Also the cars. I think the cars are a really good idea too, especially for guys. You know, we all know that guys love their cars, they love their toys, and I think that the vintage cars would be really perfect Christmas gifts. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really sad that I'm going to be away for the two weeks because um, I really love doing things for you guys, so this kind of is a bit of a bummer for me. Um, but hopefully everything will work out really great. I'm hoping that the internet connection will be pretty good up there. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to do uh, a few videos for you guys, uh, while I'm gone. Um, I will be actually doing a review. Um, I just got, um, it's a mini, um, gel setter because I have, uh, gel nails. And so I got one of those. It's actually part of a Christmas pre present that my parents got me. Um, it's absolutely adorable. It's a little mini one. Um, I've got all the little um, nail stuff. So I've got like the top coat, the foundation coats and everything. And I've got some of the nail polishes. Um, I did test try it um, on one of my nails because they were really weak. So I did test try it. It works really well. Um, but I'm going to actually give you guys, um, I'm hoping to maybe do a set for my toenails. And I'm hoping to maybe get up a video for you guys um, to see how to do it. So techniques and all that sort of stuff um, and also a review on the actual product itself. So I'm hoping to do that. I'll probably do that while I'm away. It may not get up in the next two weeks so it may actually be um, in late December, probably toward, more towards Christmas. But um, I hope you guys stay tuned and I still will try to um, put a few things up here and there for you guys. But thanks for tuning in. Bye.